If I already felt really good about the cameras and they were promising bonuses, then I'd be comfortable with that. And I side with the fact that they will probably deliver. But because there are things that aren't right now that I think need fixing, buying the phones at this moment in time feels like a bit of a gamble. Now that said, there are a lot of redeeming qualities. Like the phones already do take really detailed, clear, high quality photos with realistic colors all around. The new iPhones still come out a bit more detailed thanks to them now shooting in 24 megapixel as opposed to the 12.5 megapixel that these shoot at. But in terms of the quality of the image, this is high. And then you've got best take, which is kind of like the next era of Google's top shot feature. When you took a bunch of similar photos, your phone could previously identify which was the best and serve it to you. But now it can actually create a hybrid of all of them where everyone looks their individual best for up to five people. Part of me finds it a bit creepy. It's like the most real visceral example of photo manipulation in a way that the shot you end up with as a whole is not actually the real moment that was captured. But then on the other hand, it's a very intelligent solution to a very human problem that I and I'm sure most of you have also come across. Like it or not, this is the way that phone cameras are headed. And then Audio Magic Eraser is another one of those situations where you see it in action for the first time and you feel like you've just witnessed magic. 